All right, and now let's look at investments. Good day, good day, everybody. And once again, we're back together and we're looking at the last question on this question paper. They say to us, we've got Mr. Boyoyo invests 5,200 at a financial institution for six years, right? So there we are. Let's just draw a timeline for ourselves. Okay, very important for us to always interpret this in terms of timelines, right? So at T0, Mr. Boyoyo invests 5,200. Now, what do they say to us? He's going to do this for six years. They say the interest earned on the investment is 9.4% compounded annually for the first four years. So we've got T4. So that's for the first four years. T1, T2, T3. Okay, T2, T3. Okay, so we know that between this period, we are compounding at 9.4%. Okay, and this is per annum. Okay, right, so this is per annum, right? So um, they say, and 8% compounded quarterly. Okay, so that's for the remaining period. Remaining period, it's 8%. This is quarterly. Right. Very important. Okay. They say how much will uh, Mr. Boyoyo receive at the end of the investment period. So we're looking at how much will be there at year number six. All right. Now, ladies and gents, we're simply going to say, right. So we're looking for the accumulated amount. But first, we need to deal with the first four years. Right. So the first four years, that's P into one plus. Now, we're talking about compound interest in this case, all right? Uh, that's I to the exponent of N, right? And I want you to please note in this case that our, um, our interest rate is compounded annually. So the M value, so usually you'd say M and N times M over there, our M value is one. So I'm going to say, well, we've got 5,200 that's invested at an interest rate of 9.4%. And please note, we need to divide that by 100, okay? So if you say 9.4% divide by 100, that gives you 0 0.094. 94. That's over 1 not necessarily uh, necessary to divide by one, uh, but in this case, let's say, how many years is it? It's four years and multiplied by M, which is one. But this is going to give us the compounded interest or rather the, um, the accumulated value for year number four. And that accumulated value would now begin to earn interest for the next two years. Right, So whatever this accumulated value gives us, it will now need to accumulate interest over the two years. So again, you can look at this as the p-value, right, for the, uh, from year number four, that would be here, okay? Let's call it p1. So p1 would be over here, right? And now, uh, in this case, you are compounding it uh, over this two years at 8% compounded quarterly. So this is going to be 1 plus 8%, that's 0 0.08. Our M value is 4, but please note, ladies and gents, that's over the two years, compounded quarterly, so that would be 2 multiplied by 4. I hope that makes sense to all of you. Right, so let's calculate it together. So that's 5,200. Please stay with me. That's 1 plus 0 0.094. 
that's raised to the exponent of 4. Now, this is uh, compounded again into 1 plus, that's 0 0.08 over 4. And that would give me 2 times 4. Uh, rather, let's say yx 2 times 4, which is 8. And the answer that I get is 8,727 and eight, 18 cents. So the accumulated value, ladies and gents, okay, I'm going to write it there, would be 8,000. 727 and 18 cents. And that is how the cookie crumbles. And please, ladies and gents, have a look at the videos that I've curated where I teach you how to uh, actually use timelines. Very important for us to do so. But that brings us to the end of this question paper. It's really been a pleasure. I hope that you've watched all the questions. I'll see you guys again with paper two. I'll see you next time. Shop, shop.